Today we're going to discuss a question that's been posed in gun shops and with gunmen the world over. Why is there a hole in the rounded hammer on handguns? As near as I can tell, this trend began with the uh, Mauser C96 broom handle pistol. And it goes all the way back to the turn of the 20th century. 1899, they started using this, this hole in their rounded hammers on the handguns. The answer a lot of people give is, well, it reduces the weight of the hammer and that increases the lock time on the handgun. That might be true if we're discussing a, a high-grade um, match-capable handgun built specifically for match target shooting with a honed and, and a specially fitted trigger and hammer assembly. But on your common service handguns, why is a hole in the hammer? And the answer might surprise you. Reason that this hole is in the hammer, when the guns are cocked, rounded hammers tend to be much more difficult to decock the gun over a live chamber. It's much easier for a rounded hammer to slip off your thumb and accidentally fire the weapon. So the, ham the holes in these hammers were put there even on semi-modern handguns, such as a Walther PP that has a decocking feature on it, a lot of people here did not trust those, those mechanical decocking features and still preferred to do it with their own hands. And what these holes in these hammers allowed for is the application of a punch, which just about every military has some sort of punch available to it, to be inserted into the hammer, like so, gripped with two fingers, and then the gun decocked. Let me get this to go. Under control conditions, which almost virtually eliminates the possibility of an accidental discharge. Same thing here. You have absolute control over the lowering of the hammer versus trying to do it by thumb. enough control that you can actually set it down onto the half cock notch if you want. So there you go, just a little tip as to why the hole is in a rounded hammer. Thank you for watching.